Good evening once again. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin tonight with an in-depth look at a disease that too many of you are familiar with. Yeah, we're talking about Alzheimer's, a rise in cases across the country, now shining light on a concerning issue. Do caregivers have the resources they need to support these vulnerable patients? Well, here are some of the most staggering numbers from the Alzheimer's Association. In 2023, one in nine Americans 65 or older are living with Alzheimer's. And it's a disease that some people are more prone to develop. Black Americans twice as likely to be diagnosed. And 65% of all patients right now are women. And as many of you know, this disease it does not just impact the patient. As more people are diagnosed, more family and friends will become caregivers. It's a tough job with many providers reporting emotional and physical stress. And as anchor reporter Taylor Epps found out, it's an industry not immune to racial disparities. And she joins us now right here in the studio with a deeper dive into these numbers, Taylor. Jeff and Leah, it's a job a lot of people do out of love, right? Caring for mom, dad, grandma and grandpa. But it's something a lot of people do without pay. There are more than 500,000 unpaid caregivers in New York State, and they provide more than 800 million hours of unpaid care, with black caregivers working more hours per week on average. And they're reporting those high levels of stress, anxiety, financial burdens. So I sat down with a caregiver who says it's time we get caregivers some more support. Uh, a very prominent woman in this community, first African-American woman to be a, a school principal in upstate New York. She's been the superhero of the family, the doer. Now 86 years old, Ophelia Nicholas is dealing with dementia. You know, and so that transition of, of being the helper to the person that needs help, and that's, that's really tough. So her son, George Nicholas, is stepping up. Well, yeah, I mean, you should be, you should take care of your mom and dad because they took care of you, right? But it's, it's different because now you have, you have children of your own. You have a career of your own. From the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. When he's not home with mom, he's preaching to the congregation here at the Lincoln Memorial United Methodist Church on Maston Avenue, or working at the Buffalo Center for Health Equity as the CEO, educating people about inequities and in health issues like Alzheimer's and dementia, and then going home to the same thing. How are things now? It's challenging. That's the word. Every day is a, a challenge. A challenge more people are taking on every day because more elders are being diagnosed. Now, one in nine people over 65 have Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease is not something that we can just say, well, it's probably not going to happen, so let's not talk about it at all. It is inevitable for every family at some point that some form of dementia, whether we recognize it or not, comes into the picture. Claire Corwin works with the Western New York chapter of the Alzheimer's Association, educating people about how to manage the disease. Well, and it's, it's, it's across everything. It's looking at the clinical trials that we have. It's looking at black caregivers are reporting higher levels of responsibility with caregiving, yet less time to do these things, higher levels of stress, rates of depression. But she's not just pulling data here, she's lived it. So my grandma lived with us. Um, she had Alzheimer's disease and we were lucky enough to get to care for her in the home, uh, but it did not come without struggle. And the thing that I tell people, it was very hard. My grandma thought that I was my mom at certain points. It's a hard, thankless job, but that's why Claire's here. She does care consultations. We'll tell you about local resources, how you can get paid for working with your loved one. I'm not just gonna have you come in, talk, and then leave you without any supports. We have so many options for people, and it's, it's, it's free. It's always free. Don't wait, you know, get the information now, have the conversations now. Yeah, Pastor Nicholas tells me it's about having the conversations before the chaos. And a lot of people who are here to help you have been in your shoes. There's just caregivers supporting other caregivers while you go through this journey to ease that stress and make it easier while we care for our loved ones. Now, they have two events coming up at the Delavan Grider Community Center, one this Saturday, another one next Saturday where you can get help and ask questions. I'll have all this information posted for you on WKBW.com. Jeff?